Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I have some fantastic announcements this week including the launch of Open Distro for Elasticsearch. Machine Learning Insights for Amazon QuickSight is now in general availability. AWS Config now includes a remediation capability and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. This week, we saw the launch of the new Open Distro for Elasticsearch. And if you haven't used Elasticsearch before, it's a distributed, document-oriented search and analytics engine, and it's frequently used for log analytics, clickstream analytics, and real-time application monitoring. And Open Distro for Elasticsearch is 100% open source. It is supported by AWS, and it's the result of a collaboration with Netflix and Expedia. And this is part of a wider strategy from AWS to try to ensure that open source projects remain truly open source and free of proprietary code. So there is no confusion for customers who only want to use a completely open source distribution. Machine Learning Insights for Amazon QuickSight is now in general availability. And if you're not familiar with QuickSight, it's a business intelligence tool which enables you to analyze business data, produce interactive dashboards, and interpret the data and make informed business decisions. And this new feature means that you can now harness the power of machine learning to discover hidden trends in your data, detect anomalies, forecast future results, and create a natural language summary of your data. AWS Config now includes a remediation capability. And if you haven't used Config before, it's a service which allows you to assess, audit, and evaluate the configuration of your AWS resources. And this new feature means that you can now execute remediation actions to address non-compliant resources. For example, you can create an AWS config rule to check if any of your S3 buckets allow public read access, and you can associate a remediation action to go in and automatically disable public access for any non-compliant buckets. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was B, and lots of you got it right, but the person with the best answer was Pavan Kumar. So congratulations to Pavan. There is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on their way to you in the post, and you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.